Elon Musk just said that the Tesla Model Y's structural battery pack is far from optimized. Seriously, that really surprised me. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Hope you've had an amazing week. It's a weekend now. And you know what? Make the most of it. You're never going to get this one weekend again in this month of July 2022. So wherever you are in the world, hope you have an awesome weekend. And yeah, yeah, go out and do something great with your family, your friends, you know, someone you care about. Now, what's going on here at Tesla? What is Elon Musk going on about now? The new structural battery pack featuring 4680 cells launched in production recently by the Tesla Model Y made at Gigafactory Texas is a big development, not only for the company, but also for the EV segment as a whole. And since Tesla have announced this product and this concept, lots of Chinese automakers have now started to copy them. SAIC, Tesla have been copied as well by CATL, BYD with the seal, they've brought theirs out. I mean, some of these companies are just innovating at an incredible speed. They see Tesla do something, they go, bang, how do we do it? I drew it, Gigapress, yep, bring it, we want one too. They just act so, so quickly. It's impressive. Now, what's also impressive is what, well, yes, the man himself, Sandy Munro, has just said. He's just taken apart a Tesla Model Y with a structural pack. He bought one from Gigafactory, Texas. Obviously, Tesla knew this was going to happen, didn't they? They couldn't, hide, they couldn't keep a secret forever. He's taken it apart piece by piece. And he said the thing is extremely impressive. Interesting that Elon Musk doesn't seem to fully agree. Well, maybe he thinks it's impressive, but not as impressive as what it could be or what it will be. According to Tesla, this solution, the structural pack, has many advantages. And Munro was saying the same thing, such as great reduction in the number of parts used in both the battery pack and the car, simplicity, weight loss, which allows the pack manufacturing line to be less than half the size of previous factories. Plus, right, structural rigidity massively increased. More importantly, the company said the new cells together with the pack are expected to increase Model Y's range by 16% and decrease the overall weight of the car by 10%. That's a big difference. You're going to get a lot more range from the same pack if the weight of the car decreases by 10%, which will result in improved acceleration, handling, economy, efficiency, heaps of benefits, right? As owners of Texas made Model Ys have learned upon taking delivery of their cars, that's not exactly the case, at least not when it comes to range, which is actually lower than the corresponding Model Y fitted with 2170 battery cells. Of course, those owners weren't tricked. They were told the range before they got their vehicles. Inside EVs is trying to take us for a ride here. When I just shared that quote with you, it was from them, saying that, uh, giving the impression that these owners were like, oh, what? What's happened here? I didn't know this car had this range. They all knew 279 miles of range was what the car came with. Now, the good news is Tesla CEO Elon Musk is aware of this and says there's plenty of room for improvement with the structural battery packs. In a reply on Twitter to a post that referenced Munro & Associates' recent removal of the structural battery pack, as part of a Model Y teardown series of videos, Musk admitted that the structural pack requires optimization. Structural pack is the right overall architecture from a physics standpoint, but is still far from optimized. Unfortunately, he didn't provide any further details about the optimization work that needs to be done, but it's clear that Tesla will seek to improve the structural pack going forward. After all, this is only the first production iteration of the new battery technology. I think what's going to happen is owners will receive a range boost, just like Tesla did a couple of years back, right? When they said the over there update that gave vehicles 5% more range and 5% more power. The same exact thing will happen with this. They're just testing these batteries at this point in time, I think they've basically software limited the battery packs. Tesla is known for its philosophy of constantly improving its products and the structural battery pack featuring 46 80 type cylindrical cells hopefully will not be an exception to this rule. In their recent video, Munro and Associates described the structural pack as mind blowing, noting that the entire complex battery pack with attached seats and center console weighs only 1,200 pounds or 543 kilograms in other words, it is, in fact, like myself and many other people said, much, much lighter than the 2170 non-structural pack version of this 
car. There has been a big weight loss. Eva Fox said the structural battery pack of the Model Y is mind-blowing. With the new 4680 cells, the manufacturer has achieved a dramatic reduction in vehicle weight. So yeah, it has been weighed by Monroe. This is not some Tesla um, marketing, not Elon marketing. He's a genius marketer. He's not, he's not, he's not even, I think he's probably underselling this vehicle. I think you're going to find that in this case, Tesla are going to under promise and over deliver. I mean, it is clearly over delivering. There's never been any car company in the history of the planet that I'm aware of that's delivered cars to people and then given them a free 5% upgrade in range and power. That's never happened before. And I think Tesla will repeat that with the 4680, maybe by 10%. That would be my prediction. Now, a lot of people are saying comments like this. You've been sold a downgrade, the new 4680 vehicle. The good news is someone else will get a better version eventually. I don't think that's the case here. I don't think Elon is saying this pack is crap and you've been sold a bad product. It's a downgrade over 2170. In fact, I don't think he's saying that at all. I think he's saying the batteries need to be optimized. They're going to continue to test these batteries to see right, how they operate, under the current range, and then I believe they're gonna extend that range because it's software limited right now. That's the only logical way to conclude what's actually happening here, because that doesn't make sense otherwise. Now, what we're still waiting on knowing for certain is the actual battery pack size. Now, written in the car's software code, this car's called a 50D, and usually that would refer to the size of the battery pack, which is why I assumed that it would be a 50 kilowatt hour pack, Tesla's 100D was a 100 kilowatt hour pack, 75D was a 75 kilowatt hour pack. However, somebody has charged one of these cars and based on the charging rate, they think the pack is closer to around 62 kilowatt hour pack, maybe even 65 kilowatt hour in size. We don't really know yet, but the good thing is we will know very, very soon and I'll share that information with you probably within the next few days. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you agree, you disagree, what do you think is going on here? Have a great day.